Welcome to the next video on the Practical Weapons channel. As you know, life is changing and a lot of different things happen to most of us. One of them is working on your self-defense. My current concealed carry pistol is the regular. This is Gen 1 or 1.0 shield in 9mm. You have possibly seen this gun on my channel, maybe, maybe not. Anyway, 9mm has a laser, max laser and custom stippling by a friend of mine. But, what is the limitation of this gun? The primary one is the capacity. This is the extended mag, 8 rounds. This day that is short. So, I made the decision to upgrade. And I bought a gear up package from Smith & Wesson. That contains the bag, which you can see. It's an M&P Smith & Wesson bag. And it contains a plethora of nice things. In particular, it has a first aid pouch, which meh, I don't even know what's inside. I have better probably than this. I have more professional first aid kits. The bag itself, which is might be useful to, for going to the range. It has a Velcro flag, which is nice. It probably won't stay on this bag for long. There is a holster built in this um, in this pocket for whatever reason. An assumption somebody is going to carry the gun in this bag. I do not carry guns in the bags. So anyway, M&P Shield Plus. RDO, Red Dot Optics. You might have seen this gun on many different channels because it is one of the newer concealed carry micro compacts. Somewhat newer, definitely new to me. But the most important part it is the capacity, which is 13 plus 1 on these mags versus 8 plus 1 notice how little difference there is honestly to my hand and again this will not work obviously to my hand these two pistols feel extremely similar and um, from what I can gather there is very little difference between them. Obviously, you can see one of them is a lot more used. One of them is new. The grip feels better than the old one, and I don't know if I'm even going to need to have it stippled. Laser and manual safety. I wish I had a manual safety model, but couldn't find that. And definitely not in this package. Package came with four 13 round mags and one 10 round flash feed magazine. Of course, it's a 9mm. I do not like this you know, to add new calibers and be a guinea pig. The type of a trigger changed between the Shield and Shield Plus. This is flag safety similar to a Glock. There is no manual safety on this model, unfortunately. There are serrations on the front that did not exist on the original shield. Red dot, of course. Orange front and green backs for the sides, and those are night sides. I still ran this one with the original three white dot model. Of course, the laser never hurts, but now this will become my backup gun, most likely and I will be training up and switching 
to the shield plus. Waiting for the red dot, of course. Better trigger. Again, everything has been safety checked. No loaded guns. Nothing will work without the safety off. See, this is the trigger safety, trigger part. Again, this gun has seen a lot of rounds. However, the trigger in the Shield Plus is considerably better. It's probably better than even Shield 2.0, which is better than the Shield 1.0. The reset is short, and the gun is ready to fire again. Again, this is disassembled by pulling the trigger. You can see that the recoil spring is actually quite interesting in comparison. It's the same concept, but it seems they have done something to it. Theoretically, the slides are actually interchangeable, uh, but if that's the case, I don't know. We can try. I don't know if it's uh, worth trying. Well, no, well, they're kind of interchangeable. I don't want to go all the way back. but it might be possible to use them on both guns, which basically means I have all of a sudden ability to put red dot on my regular shield by using the new slide. Isn't that something? Mm, interesting. This might be an, actually an interesting option. If I can find the Shield Plus slide separately, I might get that as a replacement for the original Shield. So this package is quite a money saver. The max, the 13 round max, are about $30, $40 online. So, it is not the most perfect deal available, definitely, but it is quite a good deal. That's what I'm going to say. In particular, I have more capacity, almost double the capacity, I have a better trigger, and I'm going to have twice as good the sighting system, which basically means I have night sights on the gun itself. And I'm going to have a red dot mounted in a very near future. Other than that, the gun feels actually quite comfortable in my hand. To compare it, I mean, it, it does feel, have, feel nice to have stippling in this area. and where I put my finger. This gun does not have it. I might have it done as well, mm, to be determined. I need to shoot some more. I am very used to this gun. It has had tens of thousands, thousands of rounds through it. That's why the trigger is in such a great shape. <laughs> and I'm so used to it. That's basically it. I'm going to see if there is any kind of a light mount or I'm going to do the regular thing and carry a regular tactical light with me. Though again, small guns better have a good grip on it. They are going to have more recoil. We'll see. I have not had a chance of taking this the range yet. 
but this is my most recent purchase. There have been some other ones that I haven't shown on this channel. Again, this is my secondary channel, my primary one is in Russian. Because my goal is to educate people that speak Russian about the freedom and what role the firearms play in it. Fortunately, they lack a lot of that. Russian-speaking people, not Russian people in general. Just to make sure everybody's on the same page. For quality, I would have loved to see a model with the same safety so that I have the same mechanics. I am sometimes automatically moving my finger to disengage the safety, like I'm used to on this one. Yes, it is an extra motion, and yes, you have to train for it, but I have. And I've had this gun for probably, I don't even know how many years, at least seven or eight years. This is new. We'll see what it is, and um, I'm going to try with the red dot to see if I can do the jigging drill. 40 yards, 10 rounds with the expectation of 15 seconds and 8 out of 10 should hit the target. That is the new Deacon drill that I do want to try. That's basically it for today. Thank you for watching. And just like most people, I am going RDO or Red Dot or Optics. Have to. Have to keep up with the real world. We'll talk to you in the next video. So, to keep practicing, you have to have the ammo. So, be practical, get more ammo, go to the range, enjoy life, and be safe, and be practical. Talk to you in the next video.